Okay, so we're going to take a look at how you can get text to do some pretty pretty fancy stuff using Inkscape. So uh, right now I've uh, created, I've typed a new sentence here. Um, if you've never heard of the quick jump, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog, it's a quick sentence to get every letter of the alphabet uh, onto onto a single sentence. Um, but the other thing I wanted to um, explain though is that I. I can't use hello world in my example right now because these are no longer a text, it's no longer a typeface, it's now artwork. So these actually won't respond to what I'm about to do. So um, you might have a need every now and then to make your text um, run along the shape of something else. So for example, I've, I've put a circle here onto uh, the, art, the art surface and I have my sentence up there. So if I select my sentence, keep in mind this is still in text mode, right? So I select my text, I shift and click my circle, so now they're both selected, and I say text, put on path. And what it does is it looks at the perimeter of any shape that you're working with, and then it wraps itself along that. Now, uh, in this particular case, it looks like the circle isn't large enough or the font isn't small enough to be able to make this look good. So I can do a couple of things. I can go into the actual circle and make it bigger until it just fits the sentence that I want or right, something like that. Or I can go into the text. So I went to the text mode and I just triple clicked in there to select all of the text. And I can go up here and I can change the font size until I get something that I like. Okay, so just depending on what your needs are, maybe you've made a circle that has to be the size that it is, then you'd want to increase the font size to be the size that you needed. And you can even try, you know, try different things like maybe making it bold or what have you. Um, and then once again, just keep in mind that when you're done, the font itself could also at that point be turned into a path if in fact you wanted to do anything with it that's, uh, that's sort of art based or you want to change, you know, particular uh, letters to certain sizes or maybe move a letter to somewhere else on the artboard or what have you. So, okay, so that's putting text along a path.